Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the world of muscle. No, no, not that type of muscle. Millions of unusual small creatures lurking everywhere, or muscle. The toy series from 1985, produced by Mattel and Bandai, which uh, featured basically a bunch of wrestling superheroes that, you know, have obscure titles and themes and just really go off the wall after a while. Uh, I really like this series because it was produced before, well, long before I was born, but it had such unique small characters that could really just hold a lot of story without producing a lot of backstory. But that said, uh, they only named two characters officially, and it was up to the fans to find out the official names for everyone else. So thankfully, I found a website that was able to do the, just that, and I'm relaying that information to you, along with the number of the official released characters. Uh, I don't believe I'll be able to get any of the unofficial characters, number 236 and 236. 35, I think, are the super rare ones. Officially, there are 233. Today, I'll be showing you 10 at random. So, uh, let's get right on into it. Alright, first up is probably one of my favorite characters, number 157, the Black King. He's basically the dude with a big old attitude here, a big old sword, I mean. Uh, but yeah, he also has a couple daggers hidden there, shoulder pads, uh, basically uh, iron mail going on and all kinds of things uh, sticking out of the helmet and all kinds of protection just everywhere. Um, he is a total badass and ultimately a winner in my books. Um, he's always on my team, uh, just a favorite. Just for his cool demeanor, you know, he just rocking that helmet. Well, yeehaw, it's number 155, Channel Man. I'm not really sure what inspired his name per se, but I'm definitely getting an American vibe from him. How about you? Maybe the hat, maybe the aviators, or maybe it's just his flannel and jean combo there. That's very classy, very, very, very nice. Uh, I love the pockets, too, the way that they're just totally uh, raised from his chest. Um, oh, also, I think he might have a mustache. Is that a mustache? I don't know. Anyway, a uh, very interesting character there. He's got a head crest much like the Muscle Man character from the front of the package of Muscle. Um, I'm not sure if he's an alien uh, from the same planet as him or uh, he is the character in disguise. Who knows? Um, I didn't read any of the manga and, and neither did anyone from Mattel. So uh, I guess we're all in the same boat here. I can definitely get a certain vibe coming from this guy. He is number 152, a new Mongolian man. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, not really sure if I see a face there. It, it might be a mask, but uh, definitely got some eye holes there and a cool, sweet braid coming off the top, uh, and some sort of uh, emblem there on the shoulder pads. I can't really make that out. Unless there's some sort of Japanese or Chinese character, but that's bandolier across his rip and pecs, uh, and you know, normal jeans. Uh, yeah, he's a really cool dude. Um, definitely the strong, silent type. Kind of looks like he's doing that cool thing that guys do, like lean up against a, a, a bar and going, yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, he's cool. He's cool, all right. All right, here we go. Here's number 58, Buffalo Man C. Basically, he's a cool demon-looking dude with, I don't know, ro robot fingers and cool armor and stuff on his wrist only. I don't know, he's got some spandex going on too, so he's definitely a wrestler. Maybe it's a theme going on, maybe those are just prosthetic. Uh, maybe he just came out of surgery and he's going, Oh, why don't I have this done to my head? Who knows? Uh, some people just go all out, all out for themes, you know? Uh, but I really like this guy, he's just kind of subtly weird in a certain way. Without the horns, he's just a normal dude screaming. Without With the horns, he's an alien, so there we go. <laughs> That's simple. All right, now this guy is just plain weird. Uh, he's Mito A, uh, number 60, and from what I can tell, he's one of the few chibi characters of a whole line of hyper-realistic kind of super fighting dudes. So uh, I'm not really sure where they were coming off of with this guy, but he's kind of cute in his own right. He's uh, wondering why he's uh, participating in this massive fight. Uh, who knows, maybe he's one of those child prodigies who can uh, just kick butt. Um, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, on his shirt there, it just says Niku, uh, which I have no idea what this says, but good for him. I assumed his name was Niku at it long, for a long time, uh, but then I was kindly corrected by some people on the internet. That's how it goes, right? All right, now this guy looks like he just got off of the job site with his welding helmet still on, but ready to kick some butt. He is Neptune Man, number 71, and uh, yeah, he's uh, got that studded vest, that rippling pecs there, and uh, again with the spandex. I, I guess everyone's a superhero in this world, and they all gotta wear spandex, but uh, crazy world, right? 
yeah. Uh, he's got a full mullet going on in the background there. Uh, so I guess that is just a full welding helmet on the front. Um, hard to convey that entire idea. But yeah, he just, uh, he means business with that vest. Here's another multi-arm dude. Here's Asherman's teacher, number 77. And yeah, I guess he's uh, the guy that taught the little dude from the last episode how to fight. Which is maybe why he's whining, uh, because this guy doesn't look like the most kind teacher, you know? Uh, he's got a really detailed belt buckle there. What is that? Is that a star? I guess so. Maybe he won the wrestling championship or something. Who knows? Uh, which is why he's uh, just so knowledgeable about everything. Rawr, I know better than you, kid. Bop, 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 with all four of his arms. Um, yeah. Ooh, didn't expect to see a crack there. Um, yeah, he's a very interesting character. Uh, I liked the fact that this series has a lot of guys with multiple arms, uh, which is what you really need in a wrestling match, for sure. Because it's really hard to pin you down. No, 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 Copper Bell Man. Copper Bell Man. Copper Bell Man. Copper Bell Man? Uh, this is number 86. Uh, Copper Bell Man, if you couldn't figure it out. He has a Copper Bell for a head. And I assume that's a uh, character meaning Copper Bell. He's with this guy's weird. He's very strange. Um, nothing really to the character per se. Just a skinny little dude with a copper bell on his head. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully it doesn't ring in there. Otherwise, every time he gets hit, that that is quite the the headache waiting to happen. Oh boy, I bet, I bet he didn't think that through. Abraham Lincoln, what are you doing here? Now why are you wrestling? Uh, actually, this is Kita Man number ninety four. Uh, he's one of the very few normal guys, or I don't know, maybe he's got some whiskers going on there. Maybe that's where his name Kita Man comes from. Maybe it's a play on words for Cat Man. Who knows? Doesn't have a tail, um, doesn't have any weird spines or anything on his head. He's just a normal dude. So good on him for entering this fight full of weirdos with four arms and a kettlebell man. <laughs> All right, last but not least is another one of the normal dudes. Uh, I guess he got off the bus with the last guy. Uh, this one's Ninja B, number 96. Um, and yeah, he's just a, a crazy guy with a with chainmail armor here and uh, just some sort of weird helmet that comes to a point. Uh, nothing really to say about that besides he looks really beefy and could definitely kick Kettlebell Man's ass. So yeah, that, that said, uh, that is the last of the characters that I'm going to share with you today. Uh, if you'd like to see any, of, any more of this, I have plenty more of these characters ready to share with you. It's strange variety of oddities, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, bye!